So I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forest Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility inside our watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As usual, we are going to start off with our gold daily chart. We can see our beautiful uptrend. We consolidated for a little bit of time, and then we got a little jump. Uh, as we talked about yesterday, there was the news at the end of the day on Friday about what's going on with the debt ceiling. And again, we had a flight to gold. Um, we can see that we're still well off our moving average. We can still see that the buying volume is in control. But more importantly, we can see that although we jumped up immediately on the day, for the most part, today has been a, a range-bound day. Um, this was not a, a move in trending day. We made the move, and then we consolidated for the rest of the day. And, and again, even though we had that big move, you, you, until there is some definitive uh, statement on what's going on with the debt ceiling in the States, we're probably going to see a lot of this. Still going to see the flight to gold, but um, uh, there's still some uncertainty in the market. We can see basically after we consolidated for a while that our, our RSI is in the middle of neutral so I would still recommend, as I did before, that we still wait um, and let uh, the market tell us what it wants to do. So with uh, gold being strong, we'll switch over to the dollar and see some of our dollar currency pairs. And we'll start off with the pound dollar. And we can see basically some sideways action here. We had our big move up, basically an inside bar, and now we have another wannabe inside bar. Uh, the market is really consolidating here. Uh, and again, look at the volume, light on the volume, uh, sideways action, indecision about what's going on with the debt ceiling. Look at this uh, price action on hourly. I mean, literally, we talk about our low volatility and our inside bar watch list. I can tell you, just looking at this, that the pound dollar is going to be in that, where you're going to want to mark the high and low of this range here and trade that break out of that range. But in general, when we look at our template, we can see that we're well above our long-term moving average. We are still just fractionally in a sell zone, um, trying to make its way back to neutral. We can see that the dollar has taken control, but we can see there's parallel action. And because they're parallel, even though the dollar is in control, we can see that's why we have parallel price action on our, our, our chart also. Um, both the dollar and the, and the pound have moved up on their long-term moving average, but again, sideways action, and we can see even our probability indicator is in the side, side. So until we can get out of this range, until we can clearly get both of uh, one of our pairs to be clearly in control, get it above zero, get some divergence, we're probably going to see the pound dollar be range bound, and we're probably going to see it controlled by um, the news of the U.S. debt ceiling. Uh, we'll switch over to the euro dollar. All right. Here we can see that uh, we moved our downtrend line and it's still being honored. Still some sideways action, a couple inside bars here. The selling volume in control, light volume in the past couple days. So again, indecision with the dollar, uh, even with some of the Greek concerns. Uh, sideways action. Just like the pound dollar, we can see with the euro dollar, we were range bound a little bit here. And we can see this, these price levels of where we should be watching for a breakout out of. But overall, we can see we're above the long term moving average. 
Um, we are uh, basically just uh, still in a sell zone, trying to head back down to our parity price level. We can see really just fractionally the euro, euro is in control, but just fractionally, barely above zero. And again, when we see these the sideways parallel moving one above the other, that's when we get this consolidation price action in our probability indicators doing thin. So again, our theme of the day is what's going on with the debt. Um, there is a statement today coming out from the President of the United States. Perhaps that will move the market. So we'll end with the dollar franc. And here we actually get got, got a little move here. Um, and why are we going to see that? Well, here we clearly see the uh, franc taking control, diverging from the dollar above zero and that's when we get our move down so we broke the support that was in here uh, for the past couple days and we're, we've gotten below that clearly in a long-term downtrend clearly the sales are still in control but, but again the most important thing is the, the the franc took control and pushed us down so now we are below our long-term moving average we're in a buying zone we also crossed above our short-term moving average so that should indicate a move back towards our long-term moving average not guaranteed but it, it, that should happen again the franc is in control divergence we can see this big move on a long-term moving average while the dollar is still below it so this one is the only pair really moving despite the uncertainty with the dollar As we move on to our watch list, for our low volatility watch list, we have the uh, pound dollar and the euro dollar. And for our inside bar watch list, we have the euro dollar and the dollar Canadian. So one of the things that we want to talk about as we continue to talk about what separates winning and losing traders uh, and lately we've been talking about the trading committee in your mind and that before each trade a dialogue a conversation happens and that in order to uh, be a successful trader you have to control that conversation and what that really comes down to is fear and you have to confront your fear in order to change those established behaviors to react into an uncertain world and what that means is until you master your fears then you'll still have the self-sabotaging the account blowing up behaviors as we know the trading market is uncertain uh... we can have uh... setups that are proven over time but they're not going to work 100 percent of the time and so what you have to do is control your emotions control your fear so that you can also change how you act upon when things go wrong and you don't make emotional decisions instead you make calculated focus and disciplined decisions we do have other educational videos for you uh, move up with Mike on uh, YouTube and Twitter and then we have a page on Facebook called are you financially literate and we do have some other resources to share uh, we have a great uh, free five video course on high probability trading, just how to talk your mind through how to develop your own high probability trading setups. We do offer coaching sessions. That's how you can change your trading results. That's how you can move from being inconsistent, consistent by, by developing a trader's mindset, and we can help you do that. And if you're going to be trading Forex, you might as well get paid to trade, cash back, rebates for your Forex trades. It doesn't change the spread. It doesn't change the trading conditions. You just get rebates for your trades. And finally, if you're looking for automated signals, we have that for you from a bunch of providers. You can receive them and have it automatically trade, or you can trade them yourself. But as we said, it doesn't make a difference about the room you're in, the group you're a part of, your indicators, or your system if you don't pull the trigger. And the key to all of that is having a trader's mindset and we hope to have that for you through our coaching sessions at dmbfx.com. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.